big data and that is also part of the third wave of ai and in big data as i said in internet of things the devices will communicate with each other and they are going to collect a lot of data uh, just as an example right now we have total computing devices around 10 billion and it is saying that until 2025 like in next five years you are going to have another 30 billion devices imagine you have only 10 billion devices so far and you are going to have another 30 billion devices and those devices are going to be internet of things based like every small electronic device or anything that you have it will be connected with like several internet of things just like in car you are going to have several devices for the driverless car or even now if you see the cars which are being made by the tesla i was uh, watching a video where they open the the engine of the not engine actually motor of the tesla electro electric car and inside that they were having very complex circuits like uh, even our laptop does not use to have that much circuits electronic circuits which are actually computers so it was having like three different uh, I can say computing machines which were working only to control the motor electric motor of the Tesla vehicle so imagine like how many internet of things devices you are going to have it and then of course those from those devices you are going to collect a lot of data for example uh, if you will collect uh, from one device after every minute some data and when you will store it you like how much data you are going to be of course you are not able to store forever on within that device you will send it to somewhere where you can send the best solution is you will send it to the cloud servers and cloud servers when they will receive uh, data that huge amount of data not only from one device might be from hundreds of thousands of devices or millions of devices the data will be extremely huge and that term is known as big data and from that huge data even we as a human being we cannot go and see every record to to take some decisions or to to uh, to get useful information from that data so what we will do at that time from that huge data that we are already actually extracting from different devices are and in future we are going to have that data like um, exponentially very high what we will do we will apply machine learning algorithms we will apply artificial intelligence and then we will extract some useful information and we will use those use, useful information to improve the device or to improve the uh, work productivity so that's that's why we are saying like all these things from internet to internet of things cloud computing big data they are interlinked and uh, then we have the term deep learning in third wave as it is mentioned in the slide that is again another term although it is old uh, proposed in 1999 or 2006 first it was 1999 and then uh, they started to use it in 2006 but until 2015 this term did not got popularity because for deep learning we required high devices are highly computational power machines in order to use the deep learning algorithms to extract the information and to take the decision but if you see after 2010 the computational power started to increase we, we were having uh, we started to have the gpus and that's why people started to adopt deep learning methods or algorithms for the machine learning or for the AI. so in future again as i said like big data cloud computing internet of things and deep learning these are the four things which are going to play an important role and all these things will come under the umbrella of ai to have the to have uh, to get effective information or use uh, have the effective use of the devices